The Robot Operating System, or ROS, is a set of software libraries and tools for building robot applications. Over the past few years, there have been several stable releases because of such highly active community online. The most latest ones are Noetic for ROS 1 and Humble for ROS 2. In this video, we will be discussing which ROS distribution you can actually install in your system and will work. Along with it, I will also be demonstrating you how you can install Foxy ROS 2 along with ROS 1 already installed in your system. So let's get into it. Now, just to avoid any confusion, let's understand the different versions of ROS, right? So first we have ROS 1. As you can see on the screen, the most stable releases are uh, Noetic and Melodic. So Noetic is supported by, you know, Ubuntu 20 and Melodic in Ubuntu 18. So accordingly, you can install it and you can see the release date and end of life date as well. Next, we have ROS 2. In ROS2, the most stable release as of now is uh, Humble, which is supported by Ubuntu 22. And then you have Galactic and Foxy, which is supported by Ubuntu 20. Now, Foxy is used more than the Galactic. The only reason is uh, because of the support that Foxy provides. But still, if you want, you can check out the link in the description to have more clarity. So this is the official documentation of Foxy, which we'll be following for installing it in our system. So the first thing that we need to check uh, whether it is UTF-8 compatible. So for that, uh, you can type in the command local. As you can see in my system, it's not in UTF-8. So that's why I'll be continuing with the following steps. It's always good to upgrade your system before installing any new dependencies. Okay, let me just copy paste all these commands one by one. Now you can verify uh, by typing again local. As you can see, now it has been changed to UTF-8. Okay, so before installing the ROS2 app repositories, we need to check whether, you know, we have universe uh, repository enabled in our system. So for that, we'll do this. Now uh, you can see that in my system, it's already there. But just in case if in your system, uh, you are not able to see this line, then you can uh, run the following commands. Now we'll be adding the ROS2 app repositories. For that, I'm going to copy paste these commands. Now, before actually installing the ROS2 packages, we should do sudo apt update and upgrade. Now, if you want all the desktop installed, then you can actually have sudo apt install ROS Foxy desktop. Otherwise, if you just want the bare bones library, you can have Foxy ROS base. So as you can see over here, I'll be installing the ROS Foxy desktop. Now the next part is actually setting up your environment. Over here, we'll be not following what exactly is told in the tutorial since we already have ROS1 installed. So for that, uh, we'll first head to our bash rc file. Now in the bash rc file, you can see that I have already sourced the ROS1 package, right? So. As of now, I'll be creating alias. Now alias will help us to run a specific command only when needed. So let me just create an alias for noetic. You can do this by simple command alias space noetic equals to and then in string, you can actually add the commands that you want. For adding multiple commands, you can separate them by semicolon.
just to verify whether everything is working i'll just source the bash rc and try to see if our ROS one is working fine till now so you can see i have this message that noitic is active and then ROS code okay you see you can see that uh, the ROS one is running fine in the new terminal you can see that when i'm trying to directly run ROS core it won't be running because over here noitic is not enabled as of now now in the bash rc file uh, if i go down i'll have to create a similar alias so for foxy uh, i'll be adding the source and then in the echo also i'll be adding that foxy is active i'll source the bash rc file in both the terminals um, i'll be enable foxy you see this type of uh, message you will be getting because earlier we had enabled noitec in the same terminal and now we have enabled foxy as well but in the second terminal we won't be getting this thing because just foxy is enabled so in the one terminal i'll be running the talker code and in the second one the listener code just for the demonstration we have verified that foxy and noitec is running properly in our system and you can enable whenever you want according to your own need now in order to use both of them together uh, there's something called ros1 bridge in a later video i'll talk about that as well so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below what other videos i should make please do like share and comment thanks for watching